done yet. Looks like another big trout. Still way early in the afternoon for a trout this big. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Pop a dog, it's got a different face on it, and that's the only difference. Um, the ones on the left, I tend to catch smaller fish with. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can catch big fish on them, but you get a lot of smaller, you know, 13, 14 inch trout in there. Um, these ones, I catch a lot of bigger fish on, and this one, I'm telling you what, in the tannic water looks amazing and if you do like a, a swim swim die and really let your bait die and sit on the bottom for about a second and a half after it hits the bottom and then jig it up twice and not not huge don't jig it really hard just kind of light two times let it die big fish all day long i'm telling you two o'clock in the afternoon four and a half pounds and up um And then if I have any other tips, it would be keep it simple when it comes to putting crap in your kayak. You don't need to take everything you own when you're fishing. You don't. You don't need a milk crate full of crap you're not using just to get in the way. You don't need any of that crap. Just keep it simple. I, I do it by the trip. Like my soft plastics, obviously, they're always here. It's more soft plastics in there. You know pliers a scale scissors crap I need you know I got a bag that goes back here and it's got leader and stuff like that in it um, I got and then I'll you know have my camera mounted right there my rod mounted up here I got another rod holder but it's not there because I don't need it when I'm out there unless I'm taking a second rod and other yeah, just keep it easy on yourself. The more fun you'll have, the less crap you got in your way the whole time, the less crap you got to dig through every time you want to do something or, or change something up. So, um, but other than that, yeah, that's what you do for sea trout. If I had to pick two, it'd be this one all day long in the daytime for sea trout. And then right when the sun hits the horizon, I'd switch to that papa dog. That's what I do every day. Uh, like this it's when the bites tough you know two o'clock in the afternoon noon i don't care what time it is if you use that properly you are gonna catch those big fish they sit down there they don't like to chase shit you just use the right presentation and this thing is going to produce fish um the only reason i like this one better than this one is because in tannic water and stuff like that it's more visible and uh i mean it looks goofy colored but once you stick it underwater I mean that thing looks amazing and other than that I mean the rest of the stuff it all works it all works really well DOA all of it um, I just choose to use that one the most I mean I've caught a lot of fish on these but it's it's at times when you know they're, they're biting anything you throw at them so I 
kind of pick it out by what works during when the bite's hard. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. In the evenings, I always switch to top water. Um, that's all. That's what I use for tarp and things like that. It's a good tarp and lure there. I mean, that was the last tarp and <laughs> hit that sucker. Um, yeah, we'll have more. Just want to. Anyway, bye.